Here's a good question where um, you're asked to simplify or add or subtract. In order to do that, you have to get a common denominator. Uh, the first thing I'm looking at is this one here. It's a difference of squares, so maybe I'll factor it. So I'll leave everything else alone. And this becomes 2z and 2z. And one's minus 1 and one's plus 1. As soon as I do that, I see my common denominator is probably going to be both of these. Now over here, this one, well, this should be a 2. Um, uh, this one is the same as that, so that's good. But this one's opposite. So I can do that negative 1 trick where I'm going to uh, put a negative on the top. And I'm going to change the bottom so it's 2z minus 1. Okay, so I just, I can switch the order of this as long as I put a sign on the top one. Okay, plus 3z over 2z plus 1, minus 3 over 2z minus 1, 2z plus 1. Okay, common denominator is going to be both of those. So this first one, I'm going to need to multiply top and bottom by 2z plus 1. That's a Z. I'm not sure where I got an S from. Um, 2Z plus 1. On this second one, uh, to get the common denominator, I'm going to multi have to multiply top and bottom by 2Z minus 1. So 2Z minus 1. And this one already has the right denominator. So the first one, well, maybe what I'll do now is just write them all over since they have a common denominator. I'll write that on the bottom, 2z minus 1, 2z plus 1. And then on the top, I'm going to foil this through. So it'll be a minus 4z squared minus 2z. And then I'll foil this through as well. So plus uh, 6z squared minus 3z. And then on the last one, I think it's just minus 3. It might be a minus 3z just said. No, just the 3. All right, now on the top, I'll collect like terms, so the bottom will stay the same. And then I've got a minus 4z and a plus 6z squared, so that's be a positive 2z squared. Those are gone. And then minus 2z minus another 3z would be a minus 5z. And finally, minus 3. Um, you know, I wonder if you could actually factor that top thing. Just looking at it, um, I'm going to try. So 2 a Z and a Z, and then I think I need to put a minus 3 here and a plus 1 there. Let me just see if that works. 2Z squared minus 6Z plus a Z, that would be a minus 5Z minus 3, yeah, that's right, over... 2z minus 1, 2z plus 1. Now that's, like if you get to this point here, I'm awful happy. That's shown that you can get common denominators uh, for fairly complex fractions. But at the end, if this is a quadratic, because it's a squared, I can factor it into two brackets like I did here. And then finally, this is the same as the one on the bottom. So my final answer will be z minus 3 all over 2z minus 1. That's a tough question. It's a good one, though.